Kwiatkowski with a touch. McCain on the drive, coming in averaging 12, and he'll knock down the jumper to get Duke started tonight. But as Syracuse Orange going up against number 14 Duke, and a cold start as Chris Bell misfires there on the outlet. Jeremy Roach drawing contact and gets it to go, and he'll be at the line. One of my favorite singers is Frank Sinatra, and his song, I Did It My Way. It is beyond impressive. As you see, Syracuse knocked down a three-point shot there. I got to get a hand up. I was talking to Seth Greenberg today. He's a city guard. He's one of the best two-way players, I think, in the game of college basketball. Well, that's a strong finish there as Brown goes all the way through the 6-8 sophomore. Just had a five-game stretch with 22 assists and only three turnovers. Here's Starling, and he'll swish in a three. He's been having a lot of trouble hitting the three. You want to see Kyle Filipowski work for position down low and demand the ball. Kane on the drive. He'll scoop it up and in. It's still the, the, the thing you question about Duke, and I think Duke has a legit shot to win a title, is the physicality. Can they play through tough stretches when teams try to outmatch them with physicality? Well, look at him move the ball there beautifully, and Mitchell will lay it up and in. And, and that's the biggest challenge we have today in college basketball. You know, can you be yourself and can you play through everybody telling you how great you are all the time and remaining hungry? And then rallied in that one. North Carolina special team. Uh, RJ Davis is special. I mean, talk about guard play as you see Tyrese Proctor there. That's what Duke basketball is. Everybody doing what they do off a ball screen here. Does a great job of probing, gets into the lane, and just, you know, high school league. It's just those type of shots. RJ Davis can make it too with the best of it. Mitchell with the rejection. And then on the other end, getting back defensively, Mark Mitchell just being active. I mean, that's when you look. <laughs> Foster. Give it up. And that's what McLeod has to be great at. Indeed. Listening to those guys tell stories, I'll tell you, over a glass of vino, there's nothing better to be Indeed. Only 2,000 wins for crying out loud. That's going to be up and good. And you know, he lets the game come to him, but the next step is for him to take it to the game and be aggressive the way Judah Mintz is getting to those mid-range spots. Here's McCain. Wow. Short. Once again, on the attack, airborne, and yes. In the early 90s, he was Jim's assistant. And now yes. taking the ball. And there's another dunk there by Mitchell. He has eight. He's trying to make a move at the foul line on the spin. And denied by Blakes. And he comes away with a basketball. Roach in transition. Guess who again? And Mitchell's going to the line. He's trying to make a move at the foul line on the spin. And denied by Blakes. And he comes away with a basketball. Roach in transition. Guess who again? And Mitchell's going to the line. To find Mitchell, and once again, we talked about it at the beginning of the game for Mark Mitchell to be the X Factor. Proctor will give it up. Power straight on, and that didn't touch a thing. One up a pass for Mitchell, takes the hit, and makes the shot. Well, he's just having a great half. Give him 13 and counting. For his career, he's going to be an energy guy. He's going to be a guy that's going to attack the bodies of the bigs. And I talked about having that Ron Artest like upper body frame. He can play through the contact. That's what his specialty is. You extend that arm, Dave. They're going to call that every time. Every time. It's airborne. Swatted away. Power getting up there and denying him on the baseline. What Mintz wants to do, he wants to get to the free throw line. He loves great job to stay disciplined and block the shot over the top. A good entry pass for the dunk from Malik Brown. Proctor. On the spin, steps it. So dynamic off the dribble. Iso, he can give it to you any way he likes. Duke with a two-point lead with 234. Duke lost that game against Georgia Tech, and they're only ACC tilt so far. There's the slam. Down from Malik Brown. Knows exactly what to do it in the lane. Give him 10. Uh, having eight points, not playing that well. That's almost a point for every single shot he's taken Mitch as he gets the to the rack here. Yes, he did. I mean, they are they are playing quick. They're playing decisive. Kyle Filipowski's in foul trouble. They were good players when they got to Syracuse. They are tremendous when they left. Not a Mitchell, another slam. 
Philip Cloud, by the way, just picked up his third foul. Yeah, Filipowski's been that over the last four games. He's been way better offensively. McCain downtown. Yes, the three. So that took less than half a minute to clean that up. We did not expect the first one to be today. Right. Like never. Like never, yes. JJ starting with a pull up and a feathery touch. Syracuse is not backing down with the way Stalling has played Mintz and Brown. The guards have gotten where they want it. Well, that's a classic Filipowski move right there. Styling again, looking to use the screen. Pulls up and knocks it down. 21 against Georgetown, so he can fill it up. Filipowski again, shovels the pass. Mitchell on a spin and a slam. Kyle Filipowski is demanding the ball. That's what you want to see from your star player. Leaning inside, Brown. Yes, that'll roll home. Syracuse has been able to answer all night long. At least to this point, the entry for Filipowski all alone for two. Here's Bell. And gave it away. Picked off by Foster. Roach up ahead. Tiptoes in. And lays it up for two. Because once he sees the ball go in, that's when the problem starts. So rare to see a freshman with that kind of shooting ability from range. Nice shot on the drive. And heavy traffic by Mintz. Proctor gives Enough it up. Pass. Stolen away by Mintz. And says Brown with him over the top of the slam. He is 16. Orange keep coming back, keep coming back. Roach will bury the three. He's 46% beyond that arc. Copeland backs it away. Shot clock down to six. Inside Brown. He's not going to miss anything that close. He's been burying those all night. Like he, he competes each and every possession. Where it is, he can really talk it too. <laughs> Mount Verde playing for Kevin Boyle, coach Kyrie Irving at St. Pat's. McKay swishing in a three. Here's Starling. Mintz driving it. Hits it. Somehow hit us. Hot. Off balance and got it to go. Proctor with the catch. Back out. You see, it just kept going. Just keep curling right to the rim. He had an easy lane. Filipowski. Shot clock down to six, fading away. Yes. Copeland left it behind. Picked up by McCain. He'll fire. My apologies, Dave, for calling you John. I don't know why I thought that. But it's, there are times as a player here, as you see Terry McCain knock down another one, that, okay, here are one of these runs, and how are they going to respond? And if they can't come back and knock down shots to counter your run, that's where the game starts to get a little out of hand. It's Blake's at the foul line, did not take the shot. McCain gives it up. Roach will lift. He buries it in a triple. And that's what you don't want, Dave. You don't want there to be a shootout. Picked off by Brown. On the drive. Tipped in by Brown. After the miss by Starling. 68-56. On the crossover and an Aaron pass. Tried for the alley oop that opens up Roach on the other end. You know, 15 turnovers in this game, not taking care of the ball. That's a slick pass, and it's going to lead to a potential three point play. It'll be Brown again to the line. Filipowski went for the block. Filipowski on Brown. Good three there. And six seconds. Great defense, better offense. Mintz looking for a seam as it batted away. Roach again on the attack, lays it in. Red Autry in year number one. Gives a lot of credit to Seth as well. That one will rattle home. Yeah, Seth brought him on as a dobo. You say learning around Seth. That's what he said. Yeah. Absolutely. I question that. He big, big praise. <laughs> Filipowski, the digs continue. And the points continue for Filipowski. Always a lot of fun to listen to, including tonight. Mm. Slapped away by Williams, a shot clock at four. Oh. I do. I think she has been absolutely unbelievable. Just from points, assists, how she makes everyone else better on the And the thing is, you know, people, why would Caitlin Clark come back to school? Well, because the money she's going to make is exponentially greater in the college game than it would be in the WNBA. Sure. A lot of changes for Syracuse. A little roller 